thrilled. I feel so fortunate to have been entrusted with the first New York revival of Lamford's play in 33 years. It's an extraordinary play, I think. Lamford Wilson is a, an amazing, amazing playwright. I feel exhilarated. I feel thrilled. Well, now, listen here, Matthew. What were to happen is you were to head on down into them hills. Please don't do that. Don't make fun of the way we talk. Oh, everything you do, you are enough to make a... Preacher cuss? Sailor blush? I don't make fun of your accent. I don't see why... I have no accent. I loved the show so much. I, I saw it in previews. Um, and I loved it then, and I didn't think I could love it anymore, but I did. I loved it even more tonight. I adore this show. Oh my God, I think it was wonderful. Those two performances were out of this world, and I love both of them so much, it was a little bit uh, overwhelming, I have to say. It was, it was amazing. If I could only do Lambert Wilson plays, that's what I would like to do. I think he's an extraordinary writer. He's a poet, but everything comes out so effortlessly and so naturally that you don't really feel like you're doing a play, you know? Just two people talking together, the way that people talk. He knew how to write for actors. Uh, he loved actors, and he wrote two tour de force roles f for two incredible um, characters, and we have really two of, of their generation's most wonderful actors in these parts, Sarah Paulson and Denny Burstein. I am just blessed to have uh, Sarah Paulson uh, with me on stage, and just to be on stage with her is enough. But, uh, you know, to do this wonderful play with her, it's, it's really very, very special. It's been an amazingly special uh, and unique experience because of her. I could talk about my leading man for hours and days and years. It's magic to work with on stage, yes, and he's equally magical off stage. He's a wonderful guy. I love both Danny Burstein and Sarah Paulson. Um, they're two personal favorites of mine. Michael Wilson is a, the, a, one of the most gentle, loving directors I've ever worked with, and he guides you in this real, deep, uh, honest direction. Michael's incredibly supportive and gives you a very wide space in which to be born as your character, you know, he really does, and, and that's an enormous gift for a director. I've loved working with him. Everybody thinks they know uh, Tally's Folly. It's just this, they think it's just this sweet little love story, but it's so much more, there's so much, uh, it's so much deeper and richer than you would ever expect it to be. And I think that's wonderful. Uh, taking that ride every single night and having the audience take that ride with us and them not expecting it to go to certain places that it goes. If you want to just come see a, like a tour de force two-hander, this is a classic one. Tally Folly was really mind-blowingly good tonight. Roundabout's one of my favorite theaters in New York to work with. It really feels like working with um, a family. It just, it, unlike any theater that I've ever worked at before, it just really feels like home to me. I can't imagine New York City without the Roundabout Theater.